What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the last video I told you guys I'm going to upgrade my load cell pedal. Unfortunately if you guys actually purchase a load cell pedal or if you haven't really experienced it before, they tend to be a bit firm so it's kind of really hard to modulate the brake pedal. Now this thing comes from 3D wrap. Uh, it's a it's a company within, I forgot what country it is, Italy or Germany or Europe, one of those countries somewhere in Europe. Uh, it was 3D printed in the United States of America and it got shipped from somewhere within the States. So it takes a week to actually get one of these parts in. A soft rubber compound, so it makes it really easy to actually press the pedal as much as you can. There's some of them are kind of firm, so if you have an older version of a low sale, they tend to break down a bit further and become very, very soft. So you lose that aggressiveness that comes pre-built within it. Unfortunately, it's not a load springs and there's no shock to it. It's just a rubber mixed with plastics washers. So over time, they tend to lose their firmness. Or in this case, for me, since it's still new, I couldn't break it down fast enough for me to actually enjoy modulating the brakes. So. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. This is the original load cell. That's all it is. It's just a plastic piece. It's actually a metal piece, and there's also a metal piece. And that's all it's assembled from. A washer. Rubber. A rubber washer, a rubber. And the last one. A washer and then a small metal washer and a large one. This is exactly what load cell is. So it tend to be soft, which is supposed to be, but this is with my own hand. This is my full grip strength. That's all I can actually move it. This is the limitation I have. So this is exactly the settings I ended up using because you can use the two rubber but unfortunately, when I'm using both of them, it's still the same. It's still the same modulations. So for me, this is the best solution I found. So I'm gonna go washer, two rubber, a washer, and then the softest rubber part, which is this thing right here. And this is what I'm getting. I can actually press it even further. I can actually modulate the brake a little bit more. Let's go ahead and install this and show you guys the before and after. This is before and this is full pedal travel. This is before, this is after. My upgrade is actually done. I can actually now press the pedal a lot more. It's very easy to modulate now. So hopefully my lap time when I'm actually racing the game is it get a lot easier, especially the heel and toe. I can never actually be able to heel and toe. Every time I used to actually heel and toe, I used to lock up the front brakes. And by the time I'm actually heel toeing, it, it basically counts the effect. The whole entire reason why you can heel toe is to keep the car balanced in the first place. If you guys would like to actually do the same type of upgrade, uh, I will leave a link to the website of 3D Wraps. There is four type of packages. There's linear, aggressive, I forgot the name, but there's like one, two, three, three types. And you're supposed to order two, unless you do the same thing as I did, you can just order one, which is the softest settings, if you have the same problem as me, because for me, the pedal was so firm, it felt just like a capacitive button. The same thing as would you use in the controller settings. Not the triggers, which is whenever you use a trigger, that you can modulate the triggers. It felt just like a regular button. Off, on, off, on. It's exactly how the regular used to feel for me. So if you have the same problem and it's very firm, you can buy the softest rubber they have, and then you can just do the same settings as I did. You're gonna have the same, uh, you're gonna have the same 
modulated feel of the pedal. Hi guys, unfortunately the settings that I set out to use from now on is not really working out quite well for me. The moment I pass 50%, it goes all the way to 80. So I can't really match it from 50 to 80% of brake pedal. I'm just gonna pop this out. All you have to do is just hold it here and then just put your finger down here underneath and just pull it. This is the old settings. Supposed to have a washer, rubber, washer, rubber. I'm gonna go ahead and add a washer right in the center. They actually got smushed together. Hopefully that's gonna be the fix it's gonna require to make this work quite well. Now this is gonna be the new settings. Be patient with this because this is actually upside down. All I had to do was actually add one spacer and it worked flawlessly. Unfortunately, it's not to my like because there's a bit more gap that's required for me to actually press even further, which requires for a lot of effort in pushing the pedal, but it will work for now until they figure out a way to actually fix the load sales or a better upgrade for that. Or maybe I might end up just buying another very, very soft uh, 3D wrap uh, upgrade kit. Back to the video. For me, I actually ordered the whole entire kit. Gas pedal upgrade, clutch upgrade, noise reduction, and some type of washers too. I don't know what that stuff is used for, but on, on their website it shows you exactly what it's used for. And I didn't opt out for the socks they actually offer, but that's exactly what I bought. Anyways, if you guys like this kind of content, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and hit the thumb button as it will actually help the algorithm to push my contest a lot further. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. I'm making a review on this camera. This is my last box I haven't even opened yet. In the last video, I actually showed you guys five of them. Unfortunately for these cameras, just an FYI, spoiler alert for my next review. The internal audio where you actually record to record with the mic suck bad yeah catch you guys on the next one peace